Hi, my name is Chandler from WatchGuard Technical Support, and today we're going to talk about how to configure a static NAT. First, we'll need to create a policy that the static NAT will be applied to. Within Policy Manager, select Edit, and then Add Policy, and either select a pre-existing policy, or in this case, click the Manage Custom button. To create a new custom policy template, we'll click New, and then give it a name. Here we'll put Inbound Web Server. Then we'll go ahead and select the appropriate protocols. For this demonstration, we're going to add TCP80 for HTTP and TCP443 for HTTPS. Click OK, and then select Close. We can now select our new custom policy template from the custom policy list and select Add Policy. We'll start by removing the any trusted and a, any external defaults from the from and to fields. In the from field, click add. This field will determine who can use this policy. Since we want external sources to connect to the web server, we will select any external, and then select add, and then OK. In the to field, we'll then select add, then select add static net to begin creating our static net action. In the static NAT window, we'll select Add. Give the static NAT action a name. Here we'll put Inbound Web Server. We'll then click Add in the static NAT members list. Here you will select the public IP address of the Firebox that connections will use. Here you will select the internal IP address that the Firebox will forward the connection to. We'll then select OK, and then OK once more. We'll then select our static net from the action list and then select OK. The policy should now be configured as from any external to the static net action we had just created. Click OK. Now that we have the policy in place using the correct ports and protocols and the correct static net settings, we'll save our changes to the Firebox by going to File, Save, Save to Firebox, and input our admin credentials. You have now successfully configured a static net action and applied it to a policy. For more information and product documentation, please refer to our description below.